everyone! It's your learning buddy Jaggernaut here. This isn't going to be my average YouTube video because I'm doing a little something for school. And since what I do for a living on my day to day might seem a little bit boring, it's a regular old mouthful of a boring job. What I do for a living is qu a quality assurance engineer in the financial and legal portfolio for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. Try saying that 10 times fast. So what I wanted to do instead was give you a little bit of a glimpse inside my journey as a YouTuber. It's not all fun and games. Some people might think it's not really work, but uh, take a look at this and see if you have a different idea afterwards. Oh no. Oh no. Oh mercy. Oh mercy. Oh mercy. Things can sometimes get a little bit repetitive, when, especially during the editing process. But there's a lot more that goes on to a YouTube video, especially surrounding gaming content, than just playing video games and screaming into your microphone. So hopefully over the next few minutes, I can explain that to you, and we can uh, see exactly what goes into trying to be a YouTuber. But before we do that, I'd actually like to give the reason why I started doing YouTube in the first place. Uh, the logos you see above here are some of the games that I enjoy playing, but I stopped enjoying them. They became a waste of time to me. I did not get any enjoyment out of them. And so I looked for a reason to begin enjoying them again, and that reason took the place of YouTube. I needed to have a purpose in playing these video games again. Since it wasn't enjoyable to me, I thought I would make it enjoyable to others. Now, when I was little, I was considered the class clown. Uh, I was always making inappropriate comments, trying to be funny, and more often than not, I was successful. And over time, I learned to control that uh, energy and control that ability to make people laugh and become more appropriate most of the time. And so that's the reason why I have decided to do YouTube. The, it is not about the video games. It's not about any of that. It's about making people happy, about making people smile. That's my true purpose in doing YouTube. So how do we do that? Let's go ahead and get down to the actual actual bit of it. Um, it's not fun and games, like I said before, making YouTube videos. There's a lot that actually has to go into it. Just like a producer doesn't just start filming when he tries to create a movie to give to people. I can't just start my recording process and put it on the internet because when I do this kind of a thing happens And that really isn't very exciting to watch. Good content has to be created. Um, you have to set it up, you have to think about it ahead of times, and you have to try over and over and over again until you get something that is good. So in my videos, I frequently start and stop my recording just to make sure that I'm actually getting good content for the time frame that I've set up. The next step after creating good content is going to be editing it appropriately, making sure that the transitions are smooth, making sure you have no blank space and everything that is going into this movie is going to be funny and enjoyable, and as well as the thumbnails and things like that to make sure that it is flashy and people are going to want to click on your video to enjoy your good content. The third part of getting good videos is getting out of your comfort zone, networking with social media. Uh, it was a big thing for me. My wife actually had to click the publish button on my very first Please look at this. It's my hobby post. I was terrified of sharing it with my friends and my family So that was one thing was I needed to uh, Get out of my comfort zone and network with others Another thing that was really hard and had to get out of my comfort zone was talking to myself Even now I'm listening to myself say these words to you now uh, even though you're not really there but uh, being able to visualize that someone is there so I don't sound weird while I'm talking was a, uh, something that I'm actually still trying to work on. Another thing that's required is sharing it, either from YouTube or another social media, was putting my content out there, making sure that people could find it, just letting them know this is what I have created, this is who I am now, this is what I want to do with my life, this is the hobby I have taken, and that was a huge step for me. Now, let's talk about the time required to do this. I release a video uh, Monday through Saturday, so six days a week, and usually I'm up late trying to get it done. I get home from work around 6 or 7 o'clock, I hang out with my wife, and I do some chores around the house, work on some homework, and then I sit down at my computer and 
start to work. I plan out what I'm going to do, I start creating the content, and remember from earlier we have to be selective about the content we create, so sometimes with that background content it takes several hours to actually get the footage that I need to create the video. And then I have to sit down and edit it, then I have to sit down and create the thumbnail and plan the schedule and things like that, and that could take several hours, so there are days where I get five hours of sleep or less, uh, and that's Monday through Saturday. Uh, through the things that I want to get done with YouTube, but that is what I have chosen to do in order to make sure that I am successful. And along with that comes a lot of planning. I have lists upon lists of notes that I have taken about what I want to accomplish, what I need to do in the future, and how far I want to come, and goals, and everything like that, for just dedicated for my YouTube channel. And all of this is so that I can be successful, uh, and that I can create good and happy and funny content for you, the viewer. So what exactly do I get out of this? Some of the things that I've noticed in my life and the reason why I am doing this is uh, it's helped me step out of my comfort zone. I, I'm definitely a lot more confident in what I can do and in myself and especially in approaching others with that that uh, I've definitely grown and stretched because of YouTube. And with that stretching has come an understanding of some of the talents that I have which is another thing that I feel that I have gained another blessing. I, I do believe that I am a funny person, that that's one of my talents. I have, I'm pre it's pretty easy for me to be able to make people laugh or make them smile. And uh, whether it was in my class clown stage or now with my YouTube gaming stage, uh, it's pretty easy. It comes pretty naturally in making things funny for people. Uh, lastly, another thing that has come uh, because of YouTube is the ability to relate to people. Whether it's some of the friends that I've gained uh, who watch the videos and we were able to interact on that level or even some of the young men in my ward, uh, I'm able to share these things with them and kind of get down onto a, a more personal level with them because of the YouTube. And uh, someday, this isn't quite a uh, reality yet, but someday in the future I hope to actually make money and make this a profession. Um, making people laugh it would be an awesome profession for me. And that's kind of what I have learned and what I have gained from YouTube. And uh, that that's basically YouTube in a nutshell for me. You know, we've talked about the reason why I do it, because I like to make people happy. Uh, I got bored with video games, so I decided to kind of combine the two and uh, change it from just idleness when I was playing video games to actual uh, make it worth something. And you, you saw how much effort goes actually into creating YouTube. Some of the uh, screenshots I used were actually while I was creating this video. You can kind of see a little bit of what I go through with that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was instructive and helped you understand a little bit of what goes on in the back for these videos. So uh, definitely check back later for some of the other videos that I create. Definitely learning all the time and making more progress and hopefully making the videos better. And you can kind of see that already from where I started to where I am now. And I continue, I will continue to improve. So thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, hit that like button. Uh, if you liked this video and you're my professor, definitely give it a good grade. I would really appreciate that. And come back next time for some more videos and some more uh, comedy and good content. Thank you so much. We'll see you later and keep surviving, everybody.